Raman Pi is a benchtop Raman spectrometer constructed from very easy to source components and 3D parts capable of being printed on even entry level printers. Complicated physics aside, Raman Pi provides valuable information about a wide range of materials. Information that is relevant and useful for a wide range of people. I loved Rum and Pie, and they scored highest for me initially. I mean, in the first round of, of our 50 semifinalists, the pie was just, the Raman, it just was great. I've always wanted a spectrometer. I've always wanted to look at all of the things around me. And I, his documentation was fantastic. It made me believe that I could build it, that I really could just go out and build it myself and not struggle. Um, I, w I hope that Flatcat continues on that because I want to I want to see it finished. It's, yeah. Anyway, I really admired his, um, you know, the, the, the depth that he went into this one and, you know, as, as a fan of things like OpenPCR um, and other kind of, you know, citizen science things um, that, you know, not, it's not necessarily at home, but in schools and as an opportunity to just expose, you know, the students to what used to be really sophisticated professional tools. I think this is great and I'd love to see one um, in schools. Um, my suspicion is that if it does more than just spec, um, just spectrometry, um, it probably would be even more popular. The Raman Pi. What I love about this one is it actually opened my eyes to the fact that you could build a do-it-yourself spectrometer. I had no idea such a thing was possible. I thought spectrometers were, you know, only the uh, affordable to large labs, big expensive bits of kit. But it turns out you can actually design and build your own. Excellent! Who knew? I love it, and the fact that it's open so that everyone can build upon it, and uh, you know the whole community gets a really good uh, do-it-yourself spectrometer out of it. Excellent! And I love the very comprehensive nature of the design and the continued refinement. It just seems to get bigger and better each time I look at it. Uh, for the ramen pie in particular, uh, there is a lot of excitement about having a spectrometer uh, in the in the entries, and I, I believe there's actually a at least another spectrometer entry in the Hackaday Prize. And um, I personally don't really know much about one and why it would be cool, but I understand the complexity of bringing that, you know, being able to abstract that or do something with it and simplify it and bring it to, to a wider audience. But yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of people on Hackaday that loved having a spectrometer in there.